What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got another quick video for you and I wanna share something that I recently overcame, which is adding electronics into my prints. I'm so excited. Now, this took a while to figure out and I kinda wanna just share where my mental block was so that if you're in that same place, you can overcome it because we shouldn't be stuck places. We should be foraging head fearlessly. So I had this idea that I saw a desk fan on the YouTube shorts thing that somebody had 3D printed and I was like, I can do that. I, I'm smart enough to understand electronics and electricity. I can do that. Why not, right? So I started looking around and I was like, how do I get electricity out of batteries? I don't want to mess with the power grid. I don't want to shock myself. I don't want to hurt myself. I'm a pretty safe guy all, all around. So I started doing some research and I found these cool kits that I'm going to share with you and hopefully they propel you into the next stage of your 3D printing journey where you can really start making some stuff that blows people away, knocks some socks off. This desk fan that I've made is one of my favorite things to show off. I will literally just carry it around with me sometimes in case somebody asks me what it is so that I can be like, hey, look at this. It functions. Pretty damn cool if you ask me. Um... So I'm going to show you how like I made this, some of the things that I got to kind of put me in the headspace of making this and putting this together. And um, if there's anything that I miss or you want like further explanation on as far as current voltage watts, I'm learning it too. Um, let me know what specifically you're stuck on and I will help research through that thing and make a video on it. Um, it's kind of what I'm doing for myself here. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. This is a good time to mention that if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. It just helps encourage me to share my cool projects with you. And then all the links down below will be affiliate links, so if you want to support the channel, that's where you can buy this stuff. Help yourself, help me, um, help cool content still out there. And leave a comment, leave a like. Comment is my favorite part. I've said that in like three videos. Comment on these things. I want to say hello to you. So without much further stalling, let's get into the uh, overview of these kits here. Like I mentioned about a month ago, I saw a little desk fan on YouTube Shorts, and I figured that would be a great way to start understanding the basics of implementing electronics into my 3D prints. I started reaching out to some friends that I have that are electricians and different people in my life that I find knowledgeable, just kind of asking basic questions about how easy it is to work with these kinds of things. After exhausting my entire social circle of all the information at their disposal, I still felt stuck. I felt like some of my friends with higher knowledge levels than me couldn't come down to my level and a lot of what they said just flew over my head. And I had a lot of other people that I would ask and kind of just left me feeling like I was barking up the wrong tree. Either way, stuck. So I went into deep thought, real big brain time and inspiration struck. Batteries. I had already used a copper wire and a magnet to pull battery or some power out of a battery and make it spin. So I figured if I got battery packs and little motors, I could play with electricity relatively safely and learn through failure. Genius! So I hopped on the Amazon and started searching for STEM kits. If you haven't messed with STEM kits before, they are not just for children, they are also for adults. that like learning detailed instructions and a challenge. Personally, I always give them a 10 out of 10. It never disappoints with a STEM kit. That's where I found these bad boys. The first one is titled DIY STEM Parts Kit. The kit came with everything I wanted and a bunch of stuff that is going to be useful later. Inside are six sets of AA and 9 volt battery connectors, six brushless motors, eight total wheels, six propellers and switches, motor mounts, and small metal axles with some extra cord. When this thing first arrived, the first thing I did was put batteries in one of the packs and started striking the ends of the wire together like a mad scientist reveling in my tiny little sparks, but hey, all big things come from small beginnings. So after spurting out on the sparks for a solid 10 minutes, I started connecting wires to the motors, which quickly taught me how the polarity of the motors works, which is pretty cool. Now I know what's needed to make it omnidirectional, just a way to switch the current from one side to the other. After I pulled out a switch and quickly looked at the little circuit diagram provided, Plugged it all together and boom, now I have a motor that's controlled by a switch, not just the little battery pack itself being on all the time. So at this point I could feel myself breaking free from being stuck, I was really letting the shackles loose and making a bunch of progress. Um, I did have a basic understanding from engineering videos beforehand that if I wanted a reliable permanent connection for my electronics, what I would need is a soldering station. The buddy who solders, let me know this. 
So I haven't really soldered before, I've tried once or twice, I was a little bit nervous, but after looking around I found all I needed was a good soldering station. Um, one that has a good temp control and can keep the temperature consistent while you're working with it. Um, that should make things real easy breezy. So I found one that I think is great. It does the job, had great reviews, and was pretty affordable. And it also came with everything that I needed to get started so I didn't have to go looking for separate parts and pieces for cleaning, different tips, or other stuff to like use the thing I'm getting. So I have all the tools to make it happen. Now all I'm missing is my 3D model. I pulled out my calipers, fired up Fusion, took a few quick measurements and some extruding later, I had my first prototype for my desk fan. And it actually worked, which was pretty cool, so success. So now I've got a working 3D print that incorporates electrical components, has given me a new place to be stuck at, which right now is supplying the correct amount of voltage and amps to correctly power my devices. Um, conveniently, I knew that that's what would happen and where I'd get stuck next, so I came prepared with a breadboard. I've seen people around me all my life tinkering with these interesting little pieces of plastic, but I never understood or grasped the magnitude of what they held in their hand. A breadboard is to a beginning engineer what a piece of paper and pen are to a beginning writer. A way for you to get your thought children into the physical space and take the first steps to breathing them into life. I had zero idea of what I was doing when I first opened the box, but after watching a few short videos about LED circuits, I was able to make my own basic circuit with LEDs and gain a basic understanding of how they work. So I have a long way to go with the other components like the transistors, the resistors, the buzz buzzers, all that stuff. Um, but I can see many paths forward incorporating these different sensors and parts into my 3D print. Um, there's going to be a lot of really cool things I can make. I've been daydreaming about a little light up dagger. I've got the drone project on the horizon. There's all sorts of stuff out there that this could be really useful for, and it really just gives me a way that I can play with it. That's all I have for now. I will be posting a full video going in-depth on assembling the fan with the motors sometime in the coming weeks, once I understand the power supply side of things a little bit better. Next week I will be ordering the drone parts so that I can start tinkering with that, which will be its own beast of a project as well. Hope to make some shorts going over those little uh, moments of fun. And once again, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helps push you into the next stage of your 3D printing process. Check out the kits through the link in the description below. And as always, happy printing, everybody.